Hello everyone, welcome to another unboxing from Always Play Blue. Today we're going to take a look at Bardagi, the claim for gold, a game designed by Savar Bjorvensen, with art by Valentina Scamardi and published by Game Eater Games. Bardagi was a game I picked up at UK Game Expo. Um, there was a stall with a shelf of, sort of £10 games on the last day um, and I just grabbed a couple of ones I'd never heard of just to, to sort of take a punt. Um, I can see straight on the back that I like that, that there's... Um, uh, two sides of the board, one for smaller player count. Games like Summoner's Eye will do that, and it's, it's really good that you're not sort of just left on an oversized map if there's low, lower player counts. Um, I'm not going to lie, I'm a bit anxious about the box because it's a gloss box, and that just seems more on the board's gloss as well. That seems very much like a sort of more of a kid's game thing. I remember a lot of games from my childhood had gloss boards, um, don't tend to see that as much now. Um, but there's the map board. Uh, with all the islands, so we said it was the winter side was the smaller player count, so that would be that side, and then you've got the more colourful side. Looks a little bit like Small Worlds, I guess. And uh, then we've got our first. Uh, oh, that's in a packet. So we've got. Uh, let's take that. Oh, is that the? So okay, so we've got the manual in there by the looks of it. And. And some. Oh, some different. Okay, so we've got several manuals for the different languages, uh, German, Italian. French and no language, so that'd be English then. Uh, so there's a list. It's quite a thin one. Nice setup. I'll show you how the board should be laid out. Going through the rules, general play. I did take a look on um, uh, BGG uh, just before I unbox this, and um, I didn't realise it was a Kickstarter uh, until then. Um, but also, a lot of people complaining about the rules are very, and you can see here, it's just massive paragraphs. They've got some um, illustrations um, for examples, I guess. But a lot of um, paragraphs of text, and it's apparently not the most concise and clear. Uh, so we've got um, the sort of cards that I like, where you have the round order and everything, and some tokens there, uh, and some more. So up to five players. Um, I don't know enough about these games. It looks like we've got sort of the score markers there, where if you cross over 100, you sort of take the token to show that you're over 100, and then start on the score track again. Uh, some more punch board here, and you can just see underneath there, you've got the the uh, inlay there with all the comp other components, the wooden components and cards and stuff. So, um, I don't really know what these are. Some kind of reward card maybe or something, you get your bonuses. These are the player boards. Um, oh, I like that, there's, it looks like there's a, a punch out section there. So you, ah, oh, okay. So I'm guessing you, you get something in the game later on that you can lay in that section. You can see there on the right hand side where the, that sort of white square is with the other tokens in it. They've utilised that space for extra tokens which is really nice and then uh, some kind of uh, interaction with the with the play board later on in the game. So now let's look at that. So maybe that's uh, first player mark or something. And then we've got player colours. So blue, yes. So uh, each player has uh, four different types of um, uh, characters, I guess, or workers to, to move around the board. Uh, I think there's like a dwarf, a wizard, a warrior, and a boat. Um, so every player is the same. You've got your standard board game colours there. Red, blue, green, yellow, and black. Let's have a look at the blue ones to so see, see the um, characters a bit closer up here. So there's your sort of Viking longboat there. It's kind of uh, decent plastic. Is that a soft plastic though, like the Lord of the Rings, War of the Ring game? Uh, oh, and actually, he looks more like a little merchant guy. There's your sort of wizard sorcerer, and there's your warrior. Uh, quite small as well, um, compared to some images in other games. Uh, now we have, okay, so we have gold coins here, but I will say they are, they are, um, they are plastic. They're just like plastics with painted gold, with no artwork or no no nothing on them it's just smooth plain gold um, that's probably the most basic gold coins I've ever seen in the game um, interesting I wonder if there was a, like a Kickstarter sort of like premium edition that came with better stuff uh, these counters uh, in all the player colors by the looks of it they just again they're the they're the sort of cheap plastic they look like they come from another game like a like like a kids uh, like a kids game like tiddlywinks or something that's um that's odd. Uh, okay, now we've got the cards. So we've got two packs of cards here. 
Let's take a look inside. Can't stand those things when they're just <laughs> you get you can see the tab sticking out and you just can't get your your finger under it. Uh, so player colours here you can see there. So these are obviously cards. Everyone's going to get uh, and then different backs on those last ones. So that's that looks like the um, uh, this looks like the, the sort of miniatures you had. Yeah, there's the merchant, the wizard, and the boat and the the warrior there. So I'm wondering if you all have yeah, and your player colours there. So you got the blue ones. Everyone has sort of like their own ones uh, to utilise in the game. Cards are glossy but quite thin. And then this looks just. Let's see if I can get the tab this time. Ah, much much better. Um, pack two for the win there. And this looks like exactly the same. So just more of the same. So they've just probably the numbers of cards you get. It's just easier to print out two packs of identical cards uh, instead of trying to do two. Uh, separate sets so that's just more of the same no, nothing different in that pack at all and now we come on to the um the sort of uh, the wooden components the goods and these are a better quality these i mean these look like the stuff that comes out of other games like the um the west kingdom trilogy game so you've got like sheep there brick wood and some more underneath some uh, some meat there looks like the um the ham the ham tokens from uh, kalis 1303 Got some cows there. It's odd to me that those other tokens were like cheap plastic, and then you got some smaller money. Okay, so maybe there's a different um, denomination of money there, and that's just again small grey. And then uh, wooden score counters. Trays are quite good. I mean, they are just basic uh, shapes, but they um look like they hold everything. So that's Badagi, um, and I look forward to seeing how how that actually plays. Interesting. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And if you'd like more content, head over to Instagram at AlwaysPlayBlue or check out the website alwaysplayblue.com. Thank you.